Good morning. This is a video that I wanted to create to help teachers with how to create breakout rooms for reading groups, math groups, or whatever kind of groups you need. So um, this template right here was actually shared on our Canvas tutorials. So I grabbed this template and I just made, you know, personalized it, added some color, added some bitmojis, and for students, maybe in the primary grades, you could click on these links and these are the students. You can type in the names of the students that would be in each room or group. You could use a template like that or if you prefer a table like this, you can set up your groupings however you want to. Um, type the students that would be in the group and then set up a permanent link that you could make this link last all year long and just change out the student names if you want to. So. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a permanent link, but if you need me to show you anything about creating the slide, I can help you with that as well, okay? So to cre create the permanent link, you would go to your Google Calendar. So if you go up to the waffle right here, and you click on the waffle, and you would go to Calendar. Inside your calendar, first thing you would do is click Create. Okay, um, I've set up groups for group one already, so I'm gonna name this one group three, room three, whatever you wanna name your group, okay? From there, we need to go to add Google Meet video conferencing. And you can see your link appears here, or you can click this drop down menu, and I can right click, and I can copy the link address. But from there, this would not be a permanent link, so I need to come down to the bottom where it says more options. Now we have all kinds of fun stuff up here. I click on all day because I don't know what time my reading groups are gonna meet yet. And then I, I clicked on Monday through Friday. And then from here, you can start this permanent link. Maybe I wanna start it on August 24th. And then I could actually go to the ending date. I could take this all the way till the end of the school year by going next month, next month, and click on the end of May, and that link would last all the way until May. For this purpose, I'm just gonna make it from August 10th, because I'm testing it out, um, till the end of the week, because I wanna make sure it works. So once I have this set up, I'm gonna click Save. Okay, then I come back to my slide, and I'm gonna show you how to insert this hyperlink into your slide. So if we wanna do it on this one, it was for room three or group number three. So first I have to click on the icon so it, it lights up blue. From there, I go up to insert and I go to link and I simply right click or edit and I paste the link that I had just copied. Then I click apply. Okay. You can see the links right there, but I always like to test things out. So I go to present. And if students click on room three, there it is. They have a meeting room. Okay. So I'm going to show you how you can also do that in the table. So let's go escape. Let's go down to the table. And this is also group three. So I want to click. I need to make sure my cursor is already showing. Then I go to insert and link. And again, I right click and I paste in the link and click apply. Now you can change the sizing and all of this other stuff. Again, I wanna go to present mode and test out my link. And there we go. Depending on the calendar that you set up, you can set up this permanent link for the whole school year. So I hope this helped you. And if you have any other questions on how to create links or even how to set up your table or anything like that, just let me know.